Cupid absolutely loves Valentine's Day. Every year she enjoys spreading love and cheer to every creature, far and near. But when a storm blows through and sends her arrows off course, Cupid accidentally puts arrows in places she had not intended. Now classic pairs have split apart. Will Cupid ever fix her mistakes and get these classic pairs back together again? Hello, adventurers! I'm your magical host, Francesca, but you can call me Franny. Today, I have another loving story for you. Cupid, the Valentine's Day Pig by Claire Tattersfield. Are you ready to go on an adventure with Cupid? Let's begin! Cupid loved love. She loved love more than butterflies loved the sky above. Every year on her favorite holiday, which coincidentally was on Valentine's Day, she enjoyed spreading love and cheer to every creature, far and near. But when the weather got rather iffy, aiming well was rather tricky. She may have stuck some arrows in places she had not intended, and accidentally put arrows in hearts that didn't need to be mended. Cupid, the great lover of love, may have made some mistakes. Now Peanut Butter stopped loving jelly and fell in love with something smelly. Anchovies have joined the picture to make a most disgusting mixture. It looks like Fork has left Knife even though they had a perfect life. But now that Fork loves Knife no more, they've moved into a different drawer. Hey, cut it out! Not to worry, Cupid thought. Maybe these new romances deserve a shot. Remember how butterflies love the sky above? Well, Cupid may have compromised their love when a gust of wind threw her arrow off course and the butterfly fell for a horse. Fly away with me! Salt and pepper always got along fine. Together they made any meal divine. But when a stray arrow changed direction, Pepper was no longer the object of Salt's affection. Love stinks! A Cupid kept on despite the wind and spray, for what else could she do on Valentine's Day? Needle and Thread had been a great team. Now they're falling apart at the seams. Poor Thread just wants Needle back since Needle left her for a haystack. You make me so happy. Dog and Bone are in a fight. Now Dog won't even take a bite of what was once her favorite bone since Dog fell for a xylophone. I don't dig this. Paper has always loved Pen so, but Pen was forced to let him go when Paper made the most unusual pair and fell in love with a polar bear. This storm may have caused a mess, Cupid thoughtfully assessed. You're cool. I'll never let go. Now Cupid knew she'd miscalculated and made these pairs discombobulated. With the sky now clear, Cupid saw what she'd done. This Valentine's Day, she knew love had not won. Things hadn't exactly gone as expected, and so Cupid sat back and reflected. You can't eat spaghetti without a fork and a knife. You could try with a whisk, but it wouldn't be right. Needle and thread just can't be apart. For who would adorn my undies with a heart? Never before have I seen such a sorry sight. I know in my heart I must make things right. So she flew off again to fix her mistakes, hoping she was not too late. At last, Fork and Knife have reunited. The love between Salt and Pepper reignited. Needle and Thread's love got amend, and Dog and Bone were together again. Paper and Pen were together once more, the love between them stronger than before. Peanut Butter was back to loving Jelly the most. We can all agree Peanut Butter and Anchovies were really, really gross. Cupid really, really loved love, just as butterflies again loved the sky above. And so she stowed her arrows away until the next Valentine's Day. Cupid, thinking of her recent missteps, had no choice but to accept. Sometimes she should just take a day off. Well, adventurers, thank you for joining us for this delightful adventure with Cupid. I hope you had as much fun listening to the story as I did sharing it with you. Remember, every book is a new journey waiting to be explored. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fun stories. Until next time, stay curious, keep reading, and keep exploring. See you in the next adventure.